Hello, and welcome to Slightly Impressive Borrowed Time. My name is Grifter, and we are playing The Sims 3. Who just came in the room? What? Oh, yeah, because cause the crib's in here. That's the wrong... That's the wrong baby. That's the wrong crib. What are you doing? You're a terrible mother. Look, she's thinking about smelly socks. Why is she thinking about smelly socks? This is all your fault, you Sarah. Where's the... You did it all wrong. You put... You put the boy in the pink crib and the girl in the blue crib. They're going to be so confused about their gender identities because that's how it works, isn't it? What What's happening over here? Oh. Anyway, what I was going to say is Claire Claire doesn't like the, the toddler, but, you know, who could blame her? But Claire is supposed to be dead. Right, Claire? Why aren't you dead, Claire? Let's have a talk about this. I mean, look, you escaped death once. That's that's my fault. I only have myself to blame. I didn't understand the way the game mechanics worked. Because that doesn't make any sense at all. Why would somebody give away their entire inventory to another family member when they move out? That doesn't happen. People take things with them when they move out. But not in Sim World. So that's fine. Whatever. We'll blame that one on me. But why have you been alive for so long after that? How long have you been alive? 80 dates. That's not as many as I thought. But look, your progress bar is not even halfway full. I don't know. Is it going to get all the way to the end before she dies? What is Griff's? No, Griff's progress bar is exactly the same. He's 79 days. What? Wait a minute. Something is wrong. Some sort of time continuum. Black magic going on here. Claire, what have you done? I don't understand. I hope that doesn't mean he's... How? That's impossible. There's no way she's only been alive for 80 days. If Griff's been alive for 79. Because why hasn't he died yet? He can't die. He's got a, He's got dreams to accomplish. That's what's going to end up happening. Griff's just going to keel over any second aisle. Will you take care of the baby? Would you just do something about it? What does she want? She wants a diaper change, moron. Change her diaper. What's the matter with you? You were doing so well, and now you just come over here and you're just like, you know, I really hate toddlers. How do we end up with another one? Seriously? Alright. Alright, she's gonna take care of it now. Griff, go take care of your mushrooms. Is she going to? Is it... What... What is the deal here? Alright. Anyway, now that that's been handled, look at Arlo getting up in the middle of the night, take care of his little vampire boy. It's, it's great. <laughs> he looks so interested. Okay, anyway, mushroom time. In the game, in the game. Dispose. No. Can't fool me this time, game. I know they're not really dead. Just go play some video games. Chat online to loose women in the neighborhood, you know. Whatever it is you want to do there. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't like this computer. <laughs> yeah, okay. How about you fix it? Please don't electrocute yourself. That would not be a good way for this episode to go. Alright, so, uh... This can't be too hard. Yeah, this is basically what I do when I try to fix my computer. I just poke at it with a screwdriver. You're not even touching the computer. What kind of computer is this? Like a tiny, tiny little CPU. Where's where's the tower? Where's what what is this? With your full screen square monitor technology? This is this is the most technologically advanced backward computer I've ever seen. Did you fix it? Great! Kind of poking at it a few times with the screwdriver totally worked. Well, you better go back to bed. <laughs> it is 3 in the morning and he is tired, so that makes sense. What are you doing, Jaina? Yeah, you let him get away. Way to go. You can't even scare people properly. 
You're the most incompetent, evil, insane genius I've ever seen. Why do you get all the attention? No one is doing anything interesting because you get all the attention. You just constantly cry like, what is your problem? Why are you so manic depressive, Agra? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He really had to go. <laughs> Alright. Baby is pacified. Jaina appears to be pacified by the baby's xylophone. Just gonna just gonna hang out at the table for it. What are you doing? I, know, I think I'll go look at that Dick Tracy poster. You nearly clobbered Arlo. Like what? You've already gotten distracted again? And Jaina is just the biggest xylophone fan. Okay. Now what? Now what are you doing? Oh, I really, really hate that end table. <laughs> Why? Why does everyone suddenly hate the end table? Now you're just being a creeper, Jaina. They're, they're sleeping. What? Jaina, what? What are you wearing now? What is that? Who's your work clothes or what? What are you doing? That, what? Why are you dressed like some kind of renaissance fair hooker or something? <laughs> what is happening? Whatever, whatever. Do what you want. It's fine. Just let everybody else take care of your kids for you. Arlo, you're just in the way. You're just always in the way. Why did you... What are you doing? Why did you just throw the bills on the ground? What kind of male lady are you? What is it, full? What are you yelling about? You scared her away. Oh, great. What just happened? Oh, nice. Nice, Claire. Nice. Why don't you just stick your head in there and drown in it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Fix it. Fix it. I hope you somehow kill yourself by fixing it. Alright, anyway, I guess we should pay the bills if we have so many that they won't even fit in the mailbox. So, I really hate all these dirty plates everywhere, don't you? I really kinda hate you, actually. Oh, well. I'll just go back to checking the oven for signs of life. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, this one has a normal heartbeat. <laughs> Say, wonder how that vampire child's doing. What? What is the deal with the end table? You can't tell me it's because the end table is broken this time. Oh, maybe it is. Is it? Replace for 75? What does that mean? How, what's, how is it broken? It's still holding the things up. That's what end tables do. Don't throw up in the crib. What are you doing? <laughs> this room is so trashy. It has a broken end table. What? What are you doing? She's <laughs> now she's spontaneously stealing candy from the babies. Way to go, because she doesn't cry enough. Oh, oh, now you're going to be nice. Oh, Wibwab, I'm so sorry. I'm just evil and insane. What do you expect? Gears, the gears are turning, turning in her head. What am I going to do next? Now, now she's just talking to herself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what's happening right now. Who's Griff talking to? Okay, see, Griff is talking to the other people in the room. Jaina is not. <laughs> Fishing makes me so happy. I've never actually been fishing, but I bet it would make me happy. Just like reading about cooking, which I have also never done. Uh, yeah, whatever you say there, Dad. Whoa, whoa. Don't stomp on the baby. These people are all insane. They're all completely bonkers. <laughs> 
That computer over there has a mouse. I fixed it. I fixed it by poking it. I think, I think Jaina may be discussing the political situation in Nepal with Agra. No, Agra, Agra is no longer listening. Hey, hey, you listen to me. I have really important things to say. <laughs> you say it's just, just kind of watching, like, yep, yep. She makes the craziest faces. Nobody else makes interesting faces. Sarah is just constantly sitting here. See, look at that. Like, what is happening right now? What is she doing? She's just watching the baby. We're watching TV, but she's not looking at the TV. She's very clearly looking over at the baby. Oh, 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 ah. <laughs> And then we'll just give everybody sleeping pills so that they'll be nice and pacified and then nobody will want to make war anymore and everyone will be happy and asleep just like they should be. And there won't be any crying babies anywhere, there won't be any insane sisters, we'll give them lots of sleeping pills. Nobody will ever turn into a vampire all of a sudden the day after you get married to them because of questionable relations with past girlfriends and, and we'll all just be asleep and it'll be great world peace she's a mover and a shaker that you Sarah what's going on out here guys I want to be a famous criminal I hate the toilet did you hear what so-and-so did at such and such time I sure did. Ha 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 ha. Girl, you crazy. How did I give birth to such a nutcase? <laughs> okay, let's go back inside now that we've had our nub argument. <laughs> okay, so Arlo's method of potty training Agra is to set her down on the potty and just walk away. <laughs> like, alright, well, do what you're gonna do or don't. Whatever, I got another baby to take care of. Okay, well, it's time to go to the... Where am I going? Time to go to the park again. Park is a fantastic place to find people to zombify. Who's this guy? Styles McGraw. You know, Styles, I think you've got enough problems. We'll leave you alone. What is that? Okay, we got... Who's that? We got some, some old man. Is that... No, that's the old guy. Okay. Sam Sekimoto. Wait! Sam Sekimoto? That was the bald zombie guy. Dude, what happened to you? You've had... Why are you doing that? You have fallen on such... Such hard times, Sam. I'm so sorry we didn't marry you into the family. Although, really... I'm not sure we should... <laughs> Hold on, there's a flying fairy nurse. Who is this? Jamie Joel. Oh, you know what? Milton? Who is Milton? Just some old man with luxurious white hair. Okay. Okay. So, I forgot. We need... We shouldn't even be looking at the park. We need to call over all the women who keep calling up Griff at all hours of the day. Let's see. Invite them over. Sure, just just invite them right on over to the house. We won't even have to leave. Alright. Who? Where? Hey! Seriously? He's getting calls from people he's not even friends with? Alright. Let's just get Tawana then. Did we already turn her into a vampire? I mean a zombie? I can't remember. Oh, she's not coming over anyway. Fine. This isn't as easy as it looks. Alright, well, let's go somewhere else in town. Um, How about the pool? Is this a public pool? 
I think so. This is like the fancy pool, right? It's where all the fancy people hang out. That's Aisha. I think Aisha's been asking him out. Yeah, she has. Is this... Is it a public pool? What's the deal with this building? I don't... I don't know. Okay, let's go here. Who's hanging out down here? We got... Mirage Alvi. Oh, jeez. No, he's... He definitely... <laughs> oh, jeez. Definitely too ugly to qualify for zombie material. Who's this guy? He's already a zombie. Oh, yeah, because we made him one. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I mean, at least you can still... You still enjoy a pretty good quality of life, like... Going hanging out at the public pool. Man, I hate this lot. I hate it. I forgot. The camera just goes nuts. Okay, where do we want to go then? Where are we going to meet zombies? Um, are there other community lots? Oh, we could go to the beach. Yeah, let's go to the, the public beach here. Yeah. Alright, well that's just Milton again. Milton is stalking us. Uh, oh. Oh, who's this? Carol Di Diets? Yeah, see? Look, Aisha and Sari would like to know if Grifter would like to go on a date. You know what? Yes. Yes, he certainly would like to go on a date. We're going on a date to the cemetery? <laughs> you know what? Fine. That's, that's very fitting. Oh, jeez, I didn't make an elixir yet. Oh, Griff, you did it wrong. Alright, so we're going to have to get to know her well enough that we can invite her over. Okay, we're here. We're here for our date. What a spooky setting. Yeah. Yeah, pretty weird. Um, well, there she is. Hey, you. Ah. Oh, nice. Really? <laughs> well, you may not like what's about to happen then, Griff. Can we harvest that? We can. Oh, excuse me while I harvest these mushrooms. <laughs> She's like, okay. Okay, well, you know, I'm I'm getting pretty old. I can't really be too choosy with my dates, so I guess I'll just wait for you. Anytime now. I wonder if he has a shiny car. Nope, he sure doesn't. Um, okay, go tell her a joke. Hey, so, uh, one time, I was at the spa, right? And they put cucumbers on my eyes. <laughs> Great joke, man. Great joke. Okay, so... Are we gonna have to, like, get her back to the house and make an elixir? Hey, so it turns out I'm married. Uh, I don't really know why I agreed to go on this date. Since I didn't bring the zombie elixir. I mean, uh, I didn't bring you flowers or anything. Also, she's in a relationship with Jared. Jared! Jared Frio! Oh, okay, well, now we have to steal her. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So that's the plan. We're gonna woo her, wine her, and dine her, and by that I mean smooth talk her in the graveyard and make silly faces. And then we're going to turn her into a zombie because we're a horrible person. So one time I was talking on a cell phone, maybe, and then something funny happened. Ha 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 ha. And she leaves. <laughs> Was that a ghost? Did I just have a semi-affair with a ghost? Great. Well, okay, at least we know her now, so... He can ask her over. Like, presumably the next day. What, you can just engrave things? That's interesting. Okay, go home. Whoa, honey, where have you been all day long? 
oh, uh, you know, I was just at the at the graveyard on a date. I mean, uh, trying to turn someone into a zombie. I mean, uh, fishing. Oh, that's nice, dear. It's Medivh's birthday. Oh, is it already? Okay. Well, we we have other things to do right now, Medivh. Sorry. Um, what? Okay, okay. Quit moving around. I'm trying to click on you. Uh. So let's call. Yeah, let's ask her out on a date. We don't want to bring her here. That would just be drama. Yeah, <laughs> Aisha. Okay. Uh, destination. I mean, I. Pff, why not go back to the graveyard where our first date was? Yep. So you know that really romantic spot you love so much? Uh, we go. We go back there. Oh, it sounds like fun. Fantastic. <laughs> what? Who is I talking to? No one. I'm just going out on a date. I mean, zombie. I mean, fishing. What? She's over here, dude. Where? Okay. It's fine. Be chatted to. Uh, you know what? How about instead of being chatted to, where's the elixir? I know I made it this time. No, no way. I definitely made the elixir. What? Hey, so uh, it turns out I forgot something at home. See you later. I'll, I'll be right back. Or something. Where's she going? Is she going with him? This isn't good. Like, hey. Hey, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Oh well, I'll just go look at that plant again. <laughs> Whoa, she followed him home. Whoa, creeper. She's just like coming in here, looking through the window. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. This is totally appropriate for you to be here. Um. Okay, let's... Let's use this elixir, like, real fast. On Aisha. Wait. Oh, this is a lovely end table you have here. Uh, honey, who is this in our house? Oh, no. No worries, it's just my girlfriend. I mean zombie, I mean fishing partner. Whatever, she just has to go to the bathroom. She didn't even care. Hey, I'm so glad you could follow me home like a total creeper. Uh, here, I have this for you to drink. I mean, smash at your feet. What? Oh, she turned into a zombie real fast. She, how, how you like that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Whoa, man. What am I gonna do for money now? I'm the color of money. Aisha... Okay, hold up. <laughs> we just invited... Okay, we didn't invite her. She just came over. We turned her into the zombie, and somehow she's calling Claire to have Claire re repair her TV? What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, uh, I wonder what she's going to do now. <laughs> I am... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are you, are you attacking Jaina? I mean, how do we get rid of her? Go away. Go away. Stop terrorizing my family. Okay, well, I guess this is a good time for Cupcake's Corner. <laughs> and by that I mean it's the worst possible time. Is anybody not trying to mess with a baby? Jaina, go feed Cupcake 2. Cupcake 2, how's it going? How are you doing? Oh, how, how do you think I'm doing? There's a zombie running around indoors trying to eat all of the family. I'm part of the family. She might eat me. 
Yeah, but then you'll just be a zombie frog, and it'll just add to the story, right? No. No. It'll be fine. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.